Good morning to our lecturer, Dr. Malin. Today, our group will be presenting about applications of enzyme to food industry, which is meat tenderizing. Let's start. Hi, my name is Nur Amira Akila, and I will present the introduction part. Enzyme is essential for food technology, which converts the raw food materials into improved food products, and it can also modify and enhance the nutritional, functional, and sensory properties of the ingredients and products. As for the meat, the major features of the meat quality are the flavor, tenderness, and juiciness. Consumer believe that tenderness is the most important factor in determining the eating satisfaction of beef. They were also willing to pay premium for more tender meat and often reject tough meat because they prefer quality more than quantity. Moreover, proteolytic enzymes has been used for more than 60 years and is one of the most popular methods in enhancing the meat tenderness. And each enzyme added to the meat responds differently to the myofibula and connective tissues. And the most commonly used enzymes for meat tenderizings are papain, ficin, and bromelain. My name is Cressley Ginsos and I will be presenting more on the papain as a meat tenderizer. Papain is a proteolytic enzyme under the class of cysteine proteinase acquired from the latex of carica papaya. Special properties of papain includes its broad range of enzyme specificity that give rise to numerous possible cleavage patterns during proteolysis and therefore exhibit endopeptidase, amidase, and esterase activity. In meat tenderization, papain enzyme heterolyzes protein through the carboxypeptidase pathway, which mainly relies on the amino acid residues cysteine and histidine whereby both of these residues undergo the process of acylation and deacylation proceeded in a constant pathway with the nucleophilic attack being accompanied by the transfer of proton to the respective transition states until the detachment of the acyl group, leaving the recovered active enzyme for the next hydrolysis process. Basically, papain acts on myovibrillar in muscle and collagen, has an optimum activity at 65 degrees Celsius and pH in between 6 to 7. Enzyme inactivation occurs by oxidizing the active site but can be recovered by the addition of thiol reagent. My name is Emma Grester Lewis and I will be presenting about the fission enzyme which is commonly used in meat tenderization. Fission can be obtained from the latex of Ficus glabrata, Ficus laurifolia, Ficus carica, which are all basically fig tree. It is a sulfhydryl or cysteine protease that enhances the solubility of muscle proteins. Fission breakdowns the proteins in muscle and hydrolyzes collagen and elastin. Cysteine or other reducing agents is required for activation. The enzyme have broad specificity which therefore preferentially cleave proteins at tyrosine and phenylalanine residues. The enzyme is inactivated irreversibly with powerful oxidizing agents and iodoacetate. The enzyme can be inhibited by mild oxidizing agents and divalent metals but the inhibition can be reversed. Maximum activity of fishing is within a pH range of 5 to 8 and a temperature range of 45 to 55 Celsius. Hello, my name is Mama Shaun Mahmoud and I will present about enzyme bromelain. Bromelain is a mixture of enzyme isolated from pineapple. It is odorless with irritating taste, insoluble in water, insoluble in organic solvent like ether, chloroform and alcohol. The bromelain enzyme has various applications across different industries, mainly in the food and beverage industry where bromelain is largely used as a meat tenderizer. With added benefits such as anti-inflammation and immunity boosting properties, bromelain is being increasingly used in dietary supplement. As we already know, meat consists of muscle and connective tissue that are made of proteins similar to Popain, the protease bromelain breaks down the peptide bonds between amino acids. This makes the meat softer because it breaks down collagen up to 40% before attacking the myofibril of the protein. Bromelain has a lower temperature of inactivation and slightly different mode of operation. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cassandra. I will be presenting about the advantages. First, it can increase the value or quality of the meat. Beef palatability is affected by many factors, however, tenderness is cited as the most important. After that, enzymes which are derived from plants are safe to be consumed or used. This can be approved by the USD Food Safety Inspection Service as generally recognized as safe for improving tenderness of meat. 
After that, by using enzyme, it can reduce time and energy can be conserved rather than using physical method. And lastly, this enzyme able to reduce amount of detectable connective tissue with minimum degradations of muscle fiber by control paralysis of the targeted protein. My name is Ting Xue and I'm going to present the challenges of using meat tenderizing enzymes. First, the enzyme distribution is likely to be spotty. This is because the enzyme does not penetrate much below the surface of the meat. Next, the enzyme will cause over tenderizations and mushy texture products due to its broad-based substrate specificity. Besides, some people may develop allergic reactions due to the use of proteolytic enzymes in meat tenderizations. Lastly, high concentration of some microbial proteases can also affect the sensory properties of meat and generate bitterness in treated meat. To conclude, it is recommended to use plant proteases to improve tenderization of meat because of the safety and standard problems. Thank you.